Hey everybody and welcome to Never Lose Your Nerd. I'm Brandon. I'm Ishmael. Today we're going to do our New Mutants reaction video. This movie was actually supposed to come out like two years ago, but it never did. No, I don't know. You don't remember this movie? They had posters for it. They had a teaser trailer and everything. It was supposed to come out, made by Fox, but I, that that's how all this movie was made like two years ago. So like I said, Fox had made it. No, I'll probably remember when I watch the trailer or see a poster about it. Yeah, it's a movie that got scrapped, but for some reason they decided to still come out with it, I think, because they had already pretty much made it. I think they they had redone most of the movie, like reshoots and stuff like that. They had redone like half of the movie. Oh, they did? So, like, yeah. so the person that's in the movie is going to look older? No, I mean, you they... At one point and then older from like two years earlier. Maybe. maybe, I don't think... I don't think people have changed too much since then, so I'm not sure, but yeah, it's, like I said, it's new mutants. Now that Marvel has bought them, they can use the word mutants now, so they actually use it in the trailer. Because oh, wow. I actually saw it, but he hasn't seen it, so. I just saw it when I was like at school waiting for the bus. It was like, I was so happy. So you did see it? No, I just saw like the main. Okay, well, we're going to get into this. Uh, I saw a bunch of people talking about it today and just wanted to have him look at it and see what we think. What's the last thing you remember, Danny? He said we had to run. The reason you survived is because you're a very uncommon girl. You're not alone. Not anymore. Do you know what mutants are? Would anyone like to share their first time? Rain? I was 13. I thought it was a dream. I just lost control. Sam? I started panicking. People got hurt. Roberto? My girlfriend had a partner. Eliana? I killed 18 men. One by one. This isn't a hospital. It's a cage. It's important we find out your power. So we can help you get better. I saw something. I don't think she wanted me to see. I don't think we're here to get better. This place takes your greatest fear and makes you live through it. Until it kills you. He's there. He's there. <laughs> we can get out of this together. So what do you think of the uh, trailer? It was scary. <laughs> yeah, it's not rated right now, but it's supposed to be like a horror movie. So I'm wondering if it's going to be rated R or like a PG-13. That means I can watch it, right? Uh, possibly, if you're not too scared to watch it. <laughs> Maybe. Just give me a bag of Sour Patch Kids and it'll be fine. With me, it's like Star Wars. Whatever movie they put out there, I'll watch. I'll watch all the X-Men movies, Star Wars. I actually like Dark Phoenix. Everybody said that was like the worst movie of all time, but I actually enjoyed it. It was a pretty good movie. Yeah, it was good action and stuff. Yeah, I thought it was good. Uh, so New Mutants, not sure. Like I said, it was put off for like two years delayed. We had we had teaser trailers, we had posters, it never came out. Then, but it's still under the Fox banner, but it's by Marvel. Like I said they're they're using the term mutants in it, so. Yeah, I wonder how mad the cast were when they told them that the movie was canceled. Yeah, I don't know because they had shot it. I think we mentioned this before, but they came in and did other reshoots and 
kind of changed it around, but I wonder if this is actually going to tie into the X-Men universe at all, or is this just going to be like a standalone? Because actually, uh, the girl, her name is Anya, but in the movie, it's Ileana Rasputin. You know that name? No. You familiar with that? No. She's the sister of Colossus. I definitely remember that name from the animated series. Colossus was like, Ileana! When they were, they were fighting uh, Omega Red. Colossus is the guy that turns into metal, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. That's, that, that's actually his sister. But it starts off, she's like, I killed 18 men one by one. So I'm like, well, this, this, well, this is kind of bad. Wasn't she turning into meta at one part of the trailer? Um, I've seen other commentary on this. She turns her arm into like a sword or something, which this is different from the, well, the animated series isn't like everything, but. I don't remember her really having powers in the animated series. She was more like a doctor. She was. But if I remember correctly, I might remember, be remembering that wrong, but I don't remember her being a mutant in the animated series. Like I said, the animated series isn't... It's been a while since you watched the anime series. Yeah, so, you know, they don't... they don't The comics and the movies don't go exactly by the animated series, which I, I wish they would, because the animated series is better than any of the movies. Yes, they are. <laughs> I think so. If they went by the animated series and made the movies, it would be perfect. Like the way they depict Apocalypse and Magneto, they're freaking awesome. So yes, another famous actress is Maisie Williams from Game of Thrones. Oh. I know you haven't seen that, but she's a really good actor. She actually, her powers, she actually is able to turn into a werewolf. That's nice. So in the beginning, it shows her right like... Here. Yeah, you can kind of see her transform a little bit, but yeah, but she has the powers to transform into a werewolf, which she's supposedly like real religious, and she's like struggling with her religion or whatever, and being able to turn into a werewolf is like... I was going through the cast a little bit. It says Antonio Banderas is in the movie. I'm not sure. We definitely didn't see him in the trailer, but there's supposed to be a character called Demon Bear. It's supposed to be like a, uh, a bear that's a demon. It could be a figment of their imaginations, or it could be like possessing the doctor, who that who is played by Alice Braga. Her name is Doctor Cecilia Reyes in the movie. Okay. So I mean, I like I said, I've just heard I've just heard different things on the movie, and this could all just be you know speculation and stuff like that. But like but I said, Antonio Banderas is supposed to have a name under it, so. Yeah, I don't know. I think he might, his voice might end up being the demon bear, so maybe that's what that's for. Maybe. But, um, Charlie Heaton's also in it. He's, uh, Sam Guthrie. He's, I forgot what his powers are. He's supposed to be able to, like, just trans, not teleport, but, like, go really fast. Not like the Flash or anything, but just, like. Quicksilver? Yeah, maybe. I'm not for sure, for sure on that. I'll have to check, think, check back on. Do you think he's Quicksilver's his son? On his power. Oh, this is not related to that. <laughs> He's not Quicksilver. Uh, Henry Zaga's Roberto. He's like the guy in X-Men Days of Future Past who was like, had the flames and the fire and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But he's different because he looked, he's like charcoal. He's like black looking with the red coming out of him. So I guess he looks a little bit different. I it looks watch, like- I gotta watch the movies again. He kind of looks, the way he looks, he looks like, uh, no, he looks like uh, the molten lava when it's kind of cooled off a little bit. So it looks kind of different. You so know? he looks like a rock. Yeah, kind of. With like red lines going. Yeah, so basically in the trailer he said, My girlfriend, I burned her alive or something like that. You saw the hand, right? Maybe that was a vision and <gasps> he got scared and killed her. Are you talking about Alberto? Mm hmm? You know, the lot, all buff looking Hispanic guy with. With His collar pops and everything. What a douche. <laughs> and there was another character, Flo, I think. Uh, just going through these, I didn't remember all the characters' names, but... Yeah, basically, um, it's just going to be an ensemble cast, and uh, we don't know all the details and everything, but basically, like, there's all these mutants stuck in a hospital. Supposedly, the doctor is probably going to end up being bad, working for the demon bear. Didn't we see, like, things coming, like... Crawling down from the ceiling and stuff. Yeah, because supposedly the demon bear character feeds on your uh, fears, emotions, fears, you know, that old thing where the more you're scared, the more it gets strong, and the more you're. So, so you basically like can't kill it. I 
don't know. I've never even heard of Demon Bear till today. <laughs> the way they can face their fears is by thinking about rainbows and happiness. Yeah, just do that when you've got freaking <laughs> spirits and monsters chasing after you. Just think about those rainbows and skills. <laughs> oh. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and end it there. We just want to do a short video over it. I know he wanted to see it. I had already seen it, but we want to do a little recap. We found a link for it. Any more information, we'll do another video about it. Yes. Catch up on that. So it's coming out April 17th. Okay. Was it for sure? Mm -hmm. I honestly didn't even look at the, uh, the due date, but I think it's coming out this year. But yeah, if you would, like, subscribe. Hit the bell for notification. Yep. And we'll see, see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.